mm -hmm. well, right, provide, provide them provide them to federal agencies is fine if you provide them to this subcommittee we are interested to know too uh, because we're trying to make an assessment of the extent of the militias uh, how many people not necessarily specific identity what their firepower is what their purposes are and whether they pose any threat and whether there's any justification for uh, further legislation on the subject either at the state local or uh, at the federal level but this is uh, the first hearing this is the fourth hearing uh, which this subcommittee has held on problems of terrorism uh, uh, generally can I make one real brief statement uh, given the fact make, very it, brief. make it make it real okay uh, I can assure you sir and to all members of Congress and to all the people of this nation that the militia does not constitute any threat to this nation well, we have that assurance, uh, Mr. Adams, but you'll forgive us if we don't want to accept it uh, at face value. We want to we want to look further. Uh, Mr. Inspector, if, uh, if please, I wonder if we may be able to ha have an insurance that we would have an open door to get to uh, you folks relative to the same fear that we have relative to a government that maybe the uh, people are no longer trusting. You have yeah, an yeah. open door to this subcommittee. Any additional information you wish to provide to us, we would be uh, we would be glad to have. Thank you, sir. Well, let me make one one brief comment about a a press advisory which I have just seen from uh, Congressman Schumer uh, commenting about uh, uh, these hearings. Uh, uh, there will be follow-up, and we'd be glad to have any suggestions that uh, Mr. Schumer, Congressman Schumer, might have. And uh, note that uh, uh, we had a testimony from uh, Rabbi Heyer, the dean and founder of the Simon Wiesenthal Center, earlier in our hearings on uh, uh, on uh, uh, terrorism, uh, and a concluding statement that. Uh, uh, at least my own view is that uh, a public airing of uh, uh, grievances that the citizens have is a very useful and very healthy thing. There is in the Constitution, beyond uh, the more frequently quoted freedom of speech, religion, and press, uh, uh, the right of the citizenry to petition uh, uh, the Congress. And uh, we are interested in what you, uh, what you have to say. Uh, much of it you've already heard is uh, there's disagreement with the panel and I would express that same disagreement and uh, my own view is whatever ideas you have uh, let's get them out in the open and uh, I believe that uh, if I may say just one or two words in a conclusory fashion that much of what has been said here today will fall of its own weight uh, but let's hear about it and I think if, uh, if we hear you out, uh, we may decrease your membership. Uh, but it's a free society. We all have a right to speak and let uh, the American people uh, draw their conclusions. And my own sense is that it is healthy and America will applaud uh, letting you speak your piece no matter how much we disagree with you. Thank you all very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. The Senate passed the anti-terrorism bill last week, 91 to 8. The House will take up the anti-terrorism bill in July.